Some days the sailing life really is amazing, but of course there has to be a wrinkle in the story. Proper anchoring is what keeps us, our home, and everything we have safe. We absolutely must find good holding, but sometimes it's not that easy. And as we've mentioned before, we've ordered a new anchor because the one we have isn't that good. But we're intent on exploring this area, especially since there's a bay nearby rumored to be full of dolphin. We're just going to have to believe our anchor will keep us safe. I'm gonna put some dagger board down. Okay. Today is an absolutely beautiful day and we actually have some wind. So we are going for a little sail over to a place called Dolphin Bay where, you guessed it, there are supposed to be a lot of dolphins. That's from the wind. All right, we have a couple of dive boats over there. Okay. Should I watch that? Yep. We are making our way down the Almirante Bay and the Bocas del Toro Archipelago, two and a half miles at its widest point, though it's littered with shallow spots, coral reef, and is not well charted. It's also a pretty touristy area, so there are dive boats and shuttles to avoid as well. So there's a shallow area. Shouldn't be that bad, really. I think it's like 32, but see how it's lighter yeah. over there? Come yeah, on. so don't, let's not go there. Okay, so then I yeah. would need to go that way. That way, like, towards that boat there. Okay. It's been a while since we've done bay sailing, and we're looking forward to jibing our way down the bay while hand steering. Yes. We'll be hand steering for the foreseeable future since our autopilot computer was announced DOA. So we're gonna tack soon. Our we jive. Jive. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna jive soon. I just wanted to kind of go over as far as we could. Yeah, there's that uh, shallow there. Yeah, if you want guiding. Okay. The bridal sheet system allows great control of the boom when jiving. Is that is that gonna be your course? Yes. What's your next move? Oh, we to put this creature out, but I mean, again, it's like without uh, autopilot. So <laughs> I think we do the jib instead. Okay. This creature is a bigger sail that we have to hand furl on a port tack because we only have one winch which holds the sheet. If there's any complication, it becomes a bit dicey without auto. Yeah. Okay. Huh? Now we can turn off the engines. Yeah. Right? Okay. So. You wanna do the honors? is definitely not trained properly. <laughs> huh? Okay. See the telltales are going Yeah, off. they're going crazy. This is absolutely fantastic. We've got like 20 knots of wind, sailing on a broad reach. Ideally, we would have this creature out, but without the autopilot and sailing in such close quarters with shallow waters, not super well charted, we're just being conservative, so we have to have the jib out. But it's awesome, such a beautiful day. When cruising full-time, people sometimes forget the joy of a quick day sail, continually focusing on longer, multi-day passages that can often be stressful or have time constraints because it's best to arrive at a new destination before dark or prior to the arrival of a less than desirable weather system. This is great. It has been so long since we've had a nice sail like this. Take it? Yeah. We continue jibing our way down the bay, soaking up this amazing sail. When I signed up to go cruising, this is what I was dreaming of. I hope this video gives you a bit of a sense of how incredible it can be. We went head first into the fire, watch the flames rise higher. If 
you're enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up, leave us a comment down below, and be sure to subscribe to the channel. We need to bring the jib in. We have, you know, the apparent wind speed is... Okay. It's okay. I mean, it went up to 25 for right. a second. Yeah. So that's why I was staying a little bit further downwind. Well... It's okay. Whatever. Let's... Um, we should drop the sails soon anyway. Yeah, soon. Exactly. So hold this. Okay. Okay, going to the wind. Okay, going into the wind. I'm in the wind. Okay. Oh, that was a bad one. Sorry. Okay, well, it's all right. This is the entrance to Dolphin Bay. Since it's our first time coming here, we stowed the sails before entering just to be on the safe side. We're coming up on the entrance to Dolphin Bay. We really weren't sure how wide it is, but it looks like it's plenty wide. A huge thank you to our patrons. We are so grateful for your support. If you'd like real-time updates and additional content, consider joining the Harbors Unknown community on Patreon. Yoda. Sweet girl. What do you think, mama? Yeah, so in just a little bit, it should get um, more shallow. I mean, we don't really want to anchor in 50 feet of water. 48. I mean, even on the chart there, it, it says that it should be more shallow. So, I don't know if we want to like tool around, like over this way, see if it gets shallow, or over the other way. Yeah, okay. No, me either. Finding a spot to anchor was proving to be a bit tricky. We were using the sonar charts on the phone because they show a bit more depth detail. Here it's all deep, even on the chart. Yeah. Okay. Can we go back to the mushroom place? Yeah. Since the water is all 50 feet until you get like within, I don't know, five <laughs> feet of the shore. Yeah, into the net. Yeah, basically in the mangroves. Uh, we are gonna turn around and anchor uh, just outside this bay. And yeah, and then we can just come in here with the dinghy. I guess, but what's special about this place? Dolphins. Oh, okay. And I mean, you know, dolphins, they they like this bay, they don't like the other bay. Yeah, dolphins are really thinking about bays. <laughs> when it comes to bays, I know, it's true. Somebody also told me, and I just saw it on the Navionics chart, that there's a little restaurant here. I think it's over there. It's a depth here. 34. Forward a little bit. 21. It's good. 20. Okay, Mark. Okay, Mark. We're gonna be in these little mangroves soon. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna bring it up. Let's go to mushroom location. Okay. Basically, we couldn't find an anchorage really in Dolphin Bay, so we turned around and we're going back into the other little lagoon um, to a place called Mushroom Island. And we have like 25, 28 knots of wind right on the nose. There's a squall coming, obviously. <laughs> We're planning to anchor right where those two boats are. 
All right, we changed our mind again. We decided not to anchor there because it was 40 feet of water and it wasn't the mushroom island where we have Mark. So we are almost at the mushroom and we're hoping to get anchored before it starts pouring rain. This was the third spot we'd wanted to anchor at and we were tired and ready to be done, but finding a safe spot to park our home is of the oh, utmost dragon. importance decided to go back to where the other two boats were anchored as they appeared to be local charter boats and with no diary. We are hooked, finally. <laughs> Took us about, just about as long to anchor as it did to sail down here, but it's okay. And we only got a little bit wet. Hopefully the boat is hooked solid and will be good for the night. I've said this before, but I'll say it again. Sunrise at anchor is really quite magical. The colors in the sky, the calming movement of the water, and this morning fish jumping at the surface. We're able to witness the world in a different way, appreciating the subtleties of nature that happen every day. Yet in the normal world, we often don't take the time to appreciate it. Good morning, everyone. It is a pretty cloudy morning here in Bocas del Toro. So we had to turn on the generator. The batteries were down to 44%. So now we're gonna make some water. Let's go over here. We take our little sample tube and we run it outside. Then we Turn the run switch on, then we turn it on. Let's we have water coming out of our sample hose, and so we'll collect that in a bucket and set our timer for five minutes. All right, the alarm just went off, so it's been five minutes, and we're gonna go test the water. We fill our little cup and turn our handy little water tester on. It's at 200, so we're good to go. Now we just need to switch the lever to the other side so the water starts going into our tanks. Since today is Sunday, we're gonna splurge a little bit and have pancakes, but they're supposedly protein pancakes, so in my mind, they're still healthy. <laughs> so we have our ingredients here, and first we mix our wet ingredients, which are the eggs, yogurt, honey, and vanilla. So first we crack our eggs, Got a half a tablespoon of honey. So we just kind of wing it here. Three quarters of a cup of yogurt and half a teaspoon of vanilla. And we'll just buy it. There we go. Well, I was supposed to beat the eggs first, but um, you know, I got focused on filming. So this is gonna get a little messy. I should have also put it in a bigger bowl. Now I'm gonna transfer them. This is clearly not a cooking show. People say that we edit our stuff a little bit too much. So, so now here's a little reality. Okay, so Fabio's gonna get mad because I'm making a lot of dirty dishes. <laughs> He's all about the one pot meal. Now we're gonna mix our dry ingredients. So we have the half a cup of wheat flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, a little bit of cinnamon, I think it's like quarter teaspoon, and a pinch of salt. Then we just mix those together a little bit. Now we're gonna add our dry ingredients to the wet. Stir to combine. So we're gonna use butter instead of olive oil because Everyone knows that butter is better. Our poor little starter button has broken. It's just like melted. So he's bandaged. All right, and now we just uh, scoop our batter into the pan.
then we just wait for some little air bubbles to form on the top of the pancakes and we flip them. We don't have too many bubbles, but it's definitely time. Nice golden brown. And I think these are done. Now we'll just put in our next batch and then enjoy. And finally, we top them with peanut butter and honey. And as you can see from the size of this container, we like peanut butter. <laughs> and the honey. Ooh, a little bit messy. I may or may not have done that on purpose. <laughs> bon appétit. Bon appétit. Oh yeah. Mmm. Delicious. I went a little heavy on the honey. Yeah. It's delicious. <laughs> Basically dessert for breakfast. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, the sun has come out. So we are gonna go over to Dolphin Bay in the dinghy and look for dolphins. I don't really know if we're gonna find them, but I'm hopeful. You have to think positive. We'll so, grab our snorkel stuff just in case the dolphin wanna swim with us. So, Let's get going. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. Ready to go. When we're out exploring on our own, we never know what we're going to find. We get tips from guidebooks, locals, or other cruisers, and then set off. It's important to keep the mindset that any day spent outdoors is a great one. And if we happen to see or swim with dolphins, that's the icing on the cake. Maybe we go inside this little bay so we can explore a little bit. Maybe the dolphins can be in there. Yeah, dolphins love to Yeah. Oh, there's a starfish. Yoda and I are on lookout. Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly. I see big jellyfish, small jellyfish, lots of jellyfish. Actually, no, it doesn't go around. Okay. Dolphin clearly weren't frolicking in this cove, so we continued our search in the larger bay. We could see a sailboat in the distance, anchored right in the mangroves. I think this place is a little restaurant. Hola, buen día. Uh, esto es un restaurante. Oh, no. Uh, is there a uh, or if there's a restaurant nearby? Ah, okay. Gracias. We figured since we weren't having much luck with the dolphin, we would have lunch by the water and keep an eye out for them while we ate. Where the dolphin are. Yeah, it looks like there's a little lagoon there. The people there weren't very friendly and only serve food to their hotel guests. Are those legs? They are. It's like legs with flippers sticking up out of the water. snorkeling spots or fishing diving hot spots marked on the charts so we've come across the bay to check those out so this is the first one
The water was really shallow here, about three to four feet deep. In spots like this, I pay close attention because there's often many smaller things that are quite fascinating. We decided the dolphin weren't going to make an appearance today. Back to the boat. Hold on, what are we doing in the dinghy again? This morning I saw a whole bunch of fish around the island, the little mangrove island that's not far from the boat. And then when we were uh, just getting back on the boat, we saw a whole bunch of fish jumping in the water. So we grabbed a fishing pole and some lures. Disclaimer, we know basically nothing about fishing with a pole. So, or less. Yeah, or less. <laughs> We're just giving it a whirl here. Oh, that was really bad. Uh. That was good. That one. Yes. That was a good one. We're not going to drag this out. We didn't catch any fish. Cozy. Yeah. I am cozy. <laughs> it was the perfect end to a beautiful day. Thanks so much for watching.